speak again. Please make me an icon. I don't know how to do one myself. Or show me how to make one. Make a video. Make one now, please. Okay, okay. I'm not going to make you an icon, but I will show you how to make your own icon. So, okay. Get an image off of Google Images or wherever you want to get one off of, wherever you please, whatever image you want. And uh, I'm going to use this one with Sonic. Uh, you want one that's fairly large, so I'm going to show you the dimensions. It is 763 by 1575 pixels. Now, when you make a, a YouTube icon, you want it to be square. So this ain't going to work for you, but that's okay. You just want something large. You can work out the dimensions later. Now, make a brand new image. I'm going to make it 300 by 300. Yeah, I ha already have this all set up, and it'll open like this. See your image that's over here, whatever you want, uh, just drag it into GIMP. It'll open up. Whoa, that's way too big. Well, that's okay. Click on the scale tool, which is this thing up here. Click on the image. Make sure that this thingy, this chain thing is linked like that. And then start scaling it down. Scale. There we go. Let's see how that looks uh, once it's scaled. And then I'll move it into place, see if I need to do it more. Yeah, I'll do that a little bit more. Uh, the, oh, the overhang, as you can see, there's a border around here. The overhang doesn't matter. That won't show on the image once you flatten it. I'll show you that later. So I want to scale it a little more. By the way, to uh, move the image like I'm doing, move the images like I'm doing, excuse me, um, you just click on this tool right here, the move tool. It looks like four little arrows. It looks like a little plus sign with arrow tips. And then you can move layers around. So that looks about right, the positioning, but if you look, oh my god, the, the border around it is white and the background of Sonic is gray. What am I going to do? Well, you got to blend that in somehow. So click on the Sonic layer and, well, whatever image you use, and then click on the color picker tool. What you want to do is get the uh, color of the image that's closest to the border and click on it. Like if you click on here, you'll notice up here the color will change like to the color that you clicked on like if you click on his ear it'll turn brownish eyeball you got this dark darker gray the background color happens to be a lighter gray so click on that and uh, then click on the background uh, the background layer I should mention that layers are just like pieces of paper stacked on top of each other uh, if you cut a hole in one layer and make it transparent that's just like cutting a hole on a piece of paper you can see what the other uh, the layer that's below it like you see the background layer is below that and yeah it looks like that and vice versa whatever uh, you kind of get the idea i, I hope uh, it's pretty obvious if you think about the paper thing so then grab your or i should say click on your bucket fill tool it looks like a a paint bucket uh, with and it's spilling off paint and click on the background layer which is over here and then click on the background not in this image click on the background well actually it won't matter if you click inside this image so never mind you can click on the image if you want and uh, there you go it all blends in nicely sometimes you'll have to erase part of this image to blend it in like the image that you put on top of the background image and then of course you're gonna want to put your name on there unless you don't want to put your name on there then just align your uh, picture up up towards the center of the of your icon and you'll be good to go so I want the text to show uh, up here so I since this is a lighter colored background I want dark text so I'm going to click on the foreground color which is you'll see up here foreground and background color is the one that's layered over the top is the foreground and I'm gonna drag it to the upper left corner to make it black bottom right is white upper left is black got it okay and then you click on the text tool like that and then you select the text that you want by clicking on it it's selected on sans but I want something that's really really bold how about the symphony here um, it, it, it shows much better when you have a really bold text for a YouTube icon um, when you have something like that because when it shrinks down it'll show a lot better as but whatever, you get the idea, I, I hope. Then you uh, type in what you want to put. In this, in this case, it's going to be PKGAM. As you can see, it's way, way, way too small. So change the size of it. Go to this little bar here and... Ooh, there you go. And you just click the up arrow until you get it to the size that you want. That's good enough for me. And then move it to where it's centered. This is pretty good for me. Um, if you want to make it a little bit fancier, um, like... Like if you want to put like a little border and then have like a gradient text or a filled in text with black border. 
uh, click on the text image, which in my case is titled PKGAM, right click it, then click alpha to selection, then select, shrink, uh, I'll do it by, two will be good, yeah, that'll be fine. And then uh, I'm gonna use a gradient here, I'm gonna click on the gradient tool. You, you don't have to use a gradient, you could just use a brush here, I'll show you. Click on the paintbrush tool, and then you could just fill in the letters like so, or I should actually just scale up the brush like that so I can fill them in quicker. That's what I'm gonna be doing with the gradient tool, but yeah, that's an easy way to fill in your text, but I'm gonna make it a little bit fancier. So I'm gonna click on the gradient tool, which is actually called the blend tool. I'm gonna click on a gradient, uh, I'm gonna choose a gradient, you can make your own, but I'm just gonna use the blue-green one which comes with GIMP. And you can also install your own. And then stroke your gradient through the text like so. And there you go, it's a nice gradient text there. Select none so you can see it better. There you go, then click image, flatten image. That'll make everything go on the same layer. Like you notice that there was three layers, one for the text, one for Sonic, one for the background. I just merged them all into one layer. That's what flatten image does and then click File, Save, uh, save it as a JPEG. You gotta select the file type, go to JPEG here. I'll save it as untitled because I just don't care. Save, and then up the quality to 100 if you want to. Save, and there you go, there is your icon. Just upload it to YouTube. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you later.